people! How are you today? Today I'm going to show you how to make these Christmas flower earrings. This is not hard to make, it is a little bit uh, tough sometimes to go through the beads, that's the only thing because um, if you can see that uh, we're going to make this uh, stiff, so we're going through the beads a few more times so that uh, the uh, beads will not be flappy on your ears, so the earrings will not be flappy on your ears. And um, for the rest, this is not hard to make. A beginner can also make this because I explain this step by step. So let's start. So the materials you will need. You will need some thread and I'm just using a white thread. You will need some 11 o yellow seed beads. You will need some 11 o red seed beads. You will also need some 11 o green seed beads. You will need a cutting plier. You will need a size 10 or a size 12 needle. You will need an ear hook, so two ear hooks or pair of ear hooks. You will need two size 6 mm rings and you will need some pliers to uh, attach your um, ear hook and ring at the end. As you can see I use the green for the leaves, the red is for the flower and the yellow is for the inner part of the flower. So of course you can also give this uh, like a darker red color or uh, you can make the leaves uh, less green, uh, just what you like. Um, so let's start. Thread your needle with about one arm span of uh, thread of choice. You can use a uh, fine line or other thread. And we're going to pick up five yellow seed beads. Like this. And we're going to slide them down. And then we're going to make a knot two times. And I suggest that you make one normal knot and one surgeon's knot. So just wrap uh, the loop, uh, wrap the thread around the, lo the loop more. And pull. And like this, make sure that it is tight. And then we're going to grab our work. And I need to grab it the other way. And then we're going through the next seed bead, so we're going to step away from our knot. I hope you can see that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you. Like this. And then we're going to pick up one seed bead. And we're going through the next seed bead. And pull. So we're going to create a little star. We're going to pick up another seed bead. And we're going through the next seed bead like this and pull and now you're going to do this all the way around so you're going to repeat this step three more times when you're ready to add the last seed bead you're going through the next seed bead and you're going to step up through the seed bead that we uh, first added and pull and make sure that it's tight so that all the beads are um, in between all the other beads and then we're going to pick up three red seed beads. So we do not need the yellow seed beads anymore. Going three red seed beads and we're going through the next seed bead. Like this. And then again we're going to pick up three red seed beads. And we're going through the next yellow seed bead. So the next point of the next yellow seed bead. Like this. And we're going to do this all around. And when you are ready to add the last set of three seed beads, go through the next yellow seed bead and step up through the first two red seed beads. And pull. So that makes us come out of uh, the spike of uh, the first set of the three red seed beads. Now we're going to pick up five red seed beads. Like this. And then we're going through the next point of the next seed bead. Like this. And pull. And now we're going to repeat this all around. Now when you're ready to add the last seed bead, go through the spike and go up through the next two seed beads of the first row that we added. And pull. 
We're going to skip the next seed bead and we're going through the next two seed beads and the point. Like this. And pull. And make sure that you pull this tight and that the point of this flower stands out. And then we're going up through the next two seed beads. So that is the two seed beads of the row of five. We're going to skip the next seed bead and we're going through the next two seed beads and through the spike. Like this. And pull. And make sure that that uh, bead stands out. And in that way we're going to reinforce and make sure that these points stand out. Now you're going to repeat this three more times. When you've done that we're going to end in uh, one of the points. And then we're going up three seed beads to reach uh, one of the points of the new points. That makes sense. Sorry for the knot that I have in my thread but I didn't see that. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but um, my knot is all uh, melted. So I think that happened in the, in the factory. And then we're going through the next seed bead. So if I yank a little hard because I need to get uh, the knot through, you know why. <laughs> and then I'm going through the next seed bead. So I'm coming out of the point and I'm going through the next seed bead and pull. Like this, and then I'm going to pick up five seed beads, like this, and then I'm going through the next seed bead. So I'm going uh, to the next point, but I'm going through the, the seed bead that is in front of the point. So that is this seed bead, and this can be a little bit tricky because we went through the beads um, a couple of times, and this will be uh, tight. Like this, and then through the point of the seed bead and pull. Like this, and then we're going downwards through the next seed bead so that we can start this next row. So, like this, and pull. Like this, and now you're going to do this all around. So when you've done that, it looks like this, and then we're coming out. Uh, probably you're also coming out of the seed pieces next to the next point. So I'm going through the next uh, point, so that's a small point. And still, if there is a better word for point, please let me know, because I always call it point, but it can also be called something else. So through the next seed bead and as I said before this can be a little tricky and my thread broke so I uh, need to fix this with uh, the little part I have so I probably need to set in a new thread later like this and then we're going through the next two seed beads so we're going to do what we uh, did before we're going through the next two seed beads and I wrap my tail in it like this and then we're going to skip the middle one and we're going through the next two seed beads down and pull and then we're going up through the next two seed beads like this and pull and then I'm going through uh, the next seed bead like this and pull and now you're going to do this all around so you're going to um, go through the next two skip the, the next one go through the next two uh, go through these two through this one and then repeat it all around so we're just going to uh, re reinforce the middle ones and we're going through the top three of the previous uh, star so when you're done let them come back to you Okay, now when you're ready to um, 
skip the last uh, middle seed bead we're going through the next two seed beads like this and pull make sure that that point stands out very well and then we're going to pick up five green seed beads so green seed beads so green 11 0 seed beads like this and then we're going to skip the next three seed beads and we're going through the next three seed beads and pull and just give it a tug and make sure that that uh, third seed bead so that middle seed bead uh, stands out and then we're going downwards through the next two seed beads like this and pull And then again we're going to pick up five seed beads one two three four five like this and then we're going to skip the next three seed beads and we're going up through the next three seed beads like this and pull and then make sure that the middle one stands out like this and then go down through the next two seed beads like this and we're going to repeat this one more time again so we're going to pick up five seed beads and we're going through the next three seed beads I'm just going to show you that because we're going to close it up so that is five and then through the next three seed beads like this and the middle seed bead like this and then we have our three leaves I thought it was cuter with three leaves because if I uh, went and um, added uh, all the leaves it was just a little bit too much but of course if you liked it you can also do that and then I'm going through all the beads until I reach this bead so I'm going through all the beads like this until I reach this one so down through the next three because or the next two because uh, this is the way the beads go and pull and then through the middle spoke beads like this can be a little bit tricky as I said before because this is very tight because we need it to be very tight because in that way uh, it will just um, we don't need this uh, structure of the beads to be soft so especially this one in the side can be a little bit tricky so like this and pull I thought I would, I would just show you this so that if you have trouble at home making this um, that you know uh, that I have the same trouble and then through the next three beads and then we reached the top like this and boom and now we're going to make a loop so we're going to make the basic um, square loop that I do so the diamond shaped loop and we're going to pick up eight seed beads like this and then we're going through that same seed bead in the opposite direction and pull we're going up through the next two seed beads and pull I'm going to pick up one more seed bead and I'm going through the next two seed beads and pull then I'm going to pick up one more seed bead and I'm going through the next two seed beads and pull and then I'm going to pick up the last seed bead and I'm going through the next two seed beads and the one that we started this from so the red one and pull like this now we're going through the loop again so just like we would do with uh, the diamond shaped loop we're going to reinforce this loop to make it um, 
stand up straight and extra strong because we uh, although this work is not very um, very heavy we want it uh, we don't want it to break like this and pull and then I'm going through the next two seed beads so before uh, the point and then we're going to make the knot loop so I'm going underneath the beads and I'm going to make a loop and I'm going to stick my needle in that loop and pull and make a knot in between um, the beads and I'm going to do that one more time again and again this will, uh, had not uh, filled on me before and I think this is a, a neat way and a very fast way uh, to make uh, a knot and uh, be able to easily tie it off and then I'm going through the rest of the loop so just like we would do normally if you watch many of my tutorials then you will probably have seen this uh, loop a few more times and I prefer this loop over the normal loop because it just gives it that little bit more a uh, little bit more extra because a round loop never stands round and at least this one stays in the diamond shape and then we're going to end in the red seed bead and pull like this and then we're just going to cut our thread and also on the back and now we're ready to attach our ring and loop so you're going to grab your pliers and you're going to open your loop like this you're going to just hook it on put on your ear hook and close it up so if you can make this project you will definitely be able to hook the loop on of course and there you have your earring and that is all there is to it so I really hope you liked this tutorial uh, please give me a thumbs up if you liked this tutorial subscribe to my channel follow me on Facebook follow me on Pinterest and I hope to see you the next time bye have a nice day